down the middle. Char ending so, Walker. Because remember, there was a time before Ed came out, ending Walker was winning tournaments with just Ryu. That's facts. Straight Ryu, right? And also just fundamentals, also just knowing how to make the opponent crack. So what we're going to see right here, Lashar using the flicker right there. They're staying in that sweet spot range that both of them love to do right there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is, the walk. Lashar likes to do a lot of crouching, like kick, drive rush, cancel confirmations. They see a charge flicker. That's why they staying in that range. Did he get the random jump in? Yep, yep, the random we'll see. Dude, Lashar is gorgeous. Yeah. This is like... <laughs> Why? Why do all the Ed players have long ass hair? I I just noticed this. Is that the secret? Long ass hair. You, you know what I'm saying. Up. You know what? I want to see at least one psycho flicker up there. But maybe that was it. That's why he did the back dash right there. Long hair to match the normals. It looks like he's not doing much. But walking him now, pressing nothing is definitely classic. One of your is that the secret? Is that what I'm missing? I love. I mean, one train. We'll take that. Uh, what was the trade? Hold on. Oh, a trade on the jab. That's awareness. I was young once. I had long hair once upon a time. Wow, drive rush to ODDP through the flicker. That's a force burnout. Yeah, Lashar just took it in stride. Yeah, and you have to hold that OD fireball. That's why I think Walker did. Like he's holding. Oh! Like that is a strong right. option. Yeah, that is sure. cheeky. Oh, you're gonna get chips soon. Not even needed. So this is this is cheeky. So I mean, you might they might try to like potentially jump out of the way of this, right? I mean, there's already the the regular snatcher flicker versus the air one. So there's already that mix there. But then this command dash into the punch. Actually, he did the late one. The late one would be negative two. The quick one would be zero on block. The quick dash would actually be zero on block and burnout. So that would be negative two. So it's safe to go for. And you get juggle pickups. So a very cheeky option right there to do on the flicker when they're in burnout. I miss when Lashar played Chun. Hold that! Now, but Lashar's Chun was cool. But his Ed is also very cool. Ending Walker is so fucking scrappy. Of all the Eds, that is still his style that remains unique in this game. He scraps like no other dude. He makes... He, he scraps and brings his opponents down to his level, man. He's like, we're about to fucking ball. All scrap, no dreams. He still has the dream combos. He still does it. But he likes to play a really fast pace and tries to keep you guessing on what he's going to do at any moment. Yeah, the heavy punch, charge heavy punch can interrupt this flicker battle, right? That's an option you can represent at a distance. That's why he, you see Andy Walker like fainting it and then charge canceling. Yeah, look at him walking up after doing drive rush crash MK. Oh, forcing the burnout. Is he going to drive reversal? Lashar just takes it. One throw. Two throw. Three throw, heavy kick. I, Andy Walker is probably the most prolific representative of doing throw and then heavy kick to capture you from jumping out of the throw range. So normally that would be like a cross cut DP situation, but you always see Andy Walker doing this meaty throw. Like he really represents the throw heavy. And then when people are like, oh, I'm just gonna jump away from this, this situation. Ed can't cross cut like other characters, but he gets heavy kick always into the meaty charge flicker after. Common thing you see with any Walker's corner pressure, and in this situation here, strong uh, awareness. You know, uh, Ed doesn't have a cross cut option really. What he has is a DP that hits very far behind his head, m with more uh, of a reach behind his head than most characters' uppercuts, or probably all of them, to be honest. But if they're too far, then you just walk under. You have to have that walk under awareness of the jump and get the punish counter on the way down, and then that's an easy kill. You guys awake? 
Low forward connects. How did he get in there? You see what I'm saying? How is he in any, uh, Lashard's grill already? 99 seconds. Dash, drive rush, jab in. Walks all the way in, crouching MK. Or MP. You know what I'm saying. Ed boring, so never? Ed definitely not boring. Wrong. Oh, waited out the game of chicken there. Punish counter confirmation to the heavy on the San MK drivers cancel. That's negative five. You're gonna get punished, but you know this is like you know the, the conditioning here or. Rather, the guess here that they're going to try to mash after your lights. You cancel the flicker just in case because you get a counter hit combo if it hits. But the shark gets the punish, crouch jab, crouch and light kick, confirm into the into the medium DP knockdown. One throw. See, see, that's yeah. See the charge heavy. It's an option in the flicker battle. So that was plus. Oh, pick up. Uh, oh, these drive rush confirms get so funky based on the height. Yeah, that last drive rush cancel, it wasn't a good height for it. He should have just ended it and just gone into uh, the charge, uh, charge or OD uh, flicker right there. And then he could have set, uh, settled it with level one, but it worked out. He could have done charged um, flicker to pick up meterless right there. Yeah, just, that just wastes his drive meter. That's a big win in the battle. It's wild how any walker actually goes for these walk up heavy kicks. Because as you see there, heavy kick just whiffs on crouchers, but um, it's plus four on block now. But it, you, it's his only plus on block button, but you can't use it on a croucher. So generally, you only see it done after safe jumps where it, you know, you're forced to have a standing hurt box. So it's guaranteed to land. But any walker will walk into your grill and do it as like a frame trap, essentially, to bait out your late tech to the spacing or your button. Like he'll just walk straight into your grill and press it. And then it whiffs here. And then he doesn't care. And then it's even hard to get a whiff punish from here from Lashar. And then he challenges on the string with the crashing light kick. So this is exactly what I was talking about before, how you can cancel in a blitz on block after a couple lights to stop people from taking their turn back. Um, so if Lashar had canceled into blitz, for example, Ending Walker would have gotten counter hit, like what Ending Walker attempted before. Uh, but Ending Walker takes the challenge here straight into blitz. He's not kicking, though. You know. No. What did, I, what did I miss? Get off of me. Force the shards make a defensive decision right here. Perfect parry check. Nice. He might have been able to kill there if he converted that all the way. Oh, first burnout? I think he probably won a level two there. I sometimes it can be a little tricky tricky trucky. A little tricky to do OD fireball into level two. I wonder if he wanted to do level two there. Because you have to do forward and punch and then do double quarter circle back. Um, not that hard, but it's it's hard enough where sometimes you can miss the cancel window. Because you have to do the forward punch to actually throw the fireball. So I wonder if he missed it. Missed space that heavy punch. Maybe he didn't go for it, but he did that several times. Early level 2 to force a burnout. Any block, yeah, okay, force a burnout. Oh, what a whiff punish, that's it. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Whoa, it's not? Well, this, this is it. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. So how did he space that? Just walks in and out of the range. Yeah, a little shimmy. Ryan, please rewind the video and ask the shard to switch. This is a wash. No. Ending Walker. You know, it's pretty interesting. Any Walker's been having a lot of trouble putting together consistent runs and a lot of tournaments. 
Uh, oh, Shara leaning in for that one. Whoa, he's like <laughs> getting a little intimate on that. Uh, uh, what was I thinking? Like ECT, he lost to eye reflex in pools, tried to run it back through losers, and I, for I forget who eliminated him. And then also the LCQ for Esports World Cup. He had a disappointing performance. And then also Cream City. I guess he got top eight, but he dropped to losers. I forget by who. But, you know, basically he's been struggling to have a consistent performance at the highest level. But then Evo, he gets top three or top four. I guess it was top three, right? Uh, beating Momochi along the way. It's beating Lashar, who many people consider to be the best player in Japan right now. And uh, the best Ed player on the planet. So... Into putting together a really strong run here it's interesting his stability isn't quite there but he keeps having really impressive runs in between